we're getting um, 16 shows from the UK, correct? Yep. All right, and those are those matchroom fight night cards? Yep, that's Saturday night fight night cards. Okay, are we getting the next gen cards? Yep. Okay, and we're getting... So you're getting 16 shows from the UK. Mm -hmm. You're getting 16 shows from the US. Mm -hmm. You're getting three weight classes from the World Boxing Super Series. And you're getting all the Bellator content as well. For $9.99. So why do you feel like you're... A month. So why do you feel they, like you're getting so felt, much resistance? They felt like it was going to be $24.99 a month, mm -hmm. $19.99 a month. They've come in at a great price. The only resistance I'm seeing is from the powers that be within the sport. But that's expected. Is that... I'm a, um... You can watch the full video, it's on the channel. But, you know, I know why a lot of uh, boxing fans are pissed. Basically, I gotta fix this goddamn microphone. I know why uh, boxing fans are pissed. is because when you factor in, you know what, let's do, I did this on a video yesterday. Let's do a little uh, basic math, right? Let's do a little basic math. What are we doing? <clears throat> so... HBO, let's say HBO is $15 a month, right? 15 And let's say if you want to pay for Showtime Anytime, which is about $11, $12 a month. We're going to go to this one. $11, $12 a month. That's just a little basic math you can do yourself. Now, this is all for the hardcore fans. Let's say if you want to watch every fight, you know, available for you to watch in the U.S. That means 16 cards from matchroom usa in the united states 16 eddie hearn cards in the united states right right that's going to include as it stands right now demetrius andrade um jesse vargas and the new stable of american uh gerald miller and the new stable of young american fighters but as it stands right now he doesn't have charlos he doesn't have thurman he doesn't have any mainstream Heyman fighters really even though jesse vargas has confirmed yesterday via interview that he is still with Heyman. also expect for danny jacobs once his hbo contract is up to likely be fighting on on the zone as well so right now looking at it it's looking like to me the zone is a good deal for media and hardcore boxing fans because you're getting the world boxing super series which you know right there is alone for hardcore boxing fans to sell for 9.99 a month okay so that's going to be the price the first 30 days are going to be um free and um after that it's going to be 90 i mean 9.99 a month but with that 9.99 a month you have to pay obviously if you want to watch showtime fights guys like adrian broner deontay wilder um, now as it stands, Keith Thurman is to Charlos until anything further changes because Eddie Hearn is still trying to sign these guys up. You have to have Showtime. So let's say you don't get the Showtime subscription, at, you know, for your cable package. You can get Showtime anytime, which is about $11, $12 a month, if I'm correct, right? So we got to do, we already got HBO. Now, it's hard to really justify for, you know, HBO. Let's go look at their... Um, let's say for example if you just get hbo for boxing right and game of thrones because that's me that's that's it i mean yeah you know i love to be able to do my yearly binge of the sopranos and the wire you know but that's pretty much you know it you know i don't really watch anything else they don't have any really really new shows that really been grabbing me in westworld is confusing you know too is is too much it's too much for me <laughs> So, you know, it's really hard to justify for, you know, boxing fans to keep H HBO. I mean, look. And, 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 and hardcore boxing fans, with the help of social media, you know, know that HBO doesn't really have too much to offer us going forward in the future. I mean, yeah, when it comes to uh, Kovalev versus uh, Alvarez, you know, this could hopefully lead, hopefully lead to Kovalev versus uh, Beevil. Mungia versus Jamie Smith. I mean, Mungia is there now. You know, he's, you know, likely going to be picked up by HBO 154. But where does he really go from there? You know? And then, of course, Canelo and Golovkin. Obviously, Canelo's going to stay on HBO because he's pay-per-view. We have to factor pay-per-view into this. So, with Canelo, it's looking like they want him to fight two, two times a year on pay-per-view. Okay? So, let's just add that in. So, you got HBO. There's $15 a month. You got 75, right? 
You got ten dollars for the zone, and I really am digging. Ah, uh, let me do this over here. I don't want y'all seeing my shit. I'm going to sign into uh, ESPN Plus. Give me one minute. ESPN Plus. We're going to take a little tour for you guys who haven't seen it yet. We're going to take a little tour. I can't wait to see the uh, interface for the zone and see how, you know, they do it. Because don't get me wrong, ESPN Plus is confusing. I don't know how it works. Somebody told me that you have to already have ESPN on like cable to get ESPN Plus. I don't think that's true. But here's what the first page looks like right here. You know, as you can see, it says start your free seven day trial. A lot of people, you know, got suckered in and used a seven day free trial when ESPN Plus launched and used a Fakan versus LaGreco that ended in like 30 seconds like me. And a lot of people used it also on um, on uh, Terrence Crawford last fight. So if you have it, you still got a chance to sign up for a seven day free trial. But overall, let me let me move over here. I don't want y'all seeing my shit. Let me see, because sometimes, you know, I don't like how they sign me out. See, I hate it. I don't like how they sign me out like every day. I mean, I understand for security and all that, but you're going to sign me out every day, like every couple hours. Welcome back. Start watching. All right, we're back. Wait, let me go over here just in case. All right, here we're back. So normally they usually have something right here, like playing live. All this stuff you see is live. Let's see if it loads up and don't crash my PC. I got to upgrade my memory. It's going to load up. All right, there we go. Yeah, who wants that? I don't want to see that. But I'm really, if, if it keeps up, if it keeps up, I really, you know, dig the way, um, and it's going to sound weird. Don't get me wrong because I'm not a fan of his work, you know, but you can rely on Day Ray, Dan Rayfield to give you like news in regards to shit being official. Sometimes he'd be out of the out of the mix completely, like when it comes to uh, like Mayweather Pacquiao, for example. He didn't know what the fuck was going on because he really doesn't have a connection with like the fans as YouTubers do. But he is a reliable source for, you know, information going forward in the future. And because he is ESPN, he gets, you know, all of, um, you know, like that clout of being with ESPN. Like boxers have to talk to him whether they like it or not. It's a part of their PR, you know, like deal. I was looking for the one that had um, Wilder on there. And you could only watch it on ESPN Plus. But what you get with ESPN Plus is. It, it's just his word. You know what I'm saying? He don't have the. We have all the emails. We have everything to prove everything. All right, That's so, the thing so about what about it. that April offer, though? Well, I, the April offer. Like I said, I ain't taking flat fee. I'm not taking a flat fee no more. That's it. That's over with. It's done with. Then what I don't would it, really what care. Would it, so obviously you got to pay, you know, $5. But I'm noticing with ESPN Plus, see, people are looking at it just like a boxing app. For the $5 you're paying, you're getting a lot of shit. You know, you're getting shit from Kobe Bryant. You're getting shit from other sports. Now, I don't watch none of that stuff. You know, but what I'm saying is to get that past fight um, access to all of Manny Pacquiao's fights, even though they have, uh, thanks to Adrian for pointing it out to me, even though they have Pacquiao versus Cotto and Terrence Crawford versus somebody plays, still, you know, you're getting a lot of content and you're getting international cards like whatever Box Nation Frank Warren cards that showtime don't pick up you're getting um um hold on my nose is itching i feel like i gotta sneeze hold on hold on i feel like i gotta sneeze feel like i gotta sneeze all right here we good <laughs> pacquiao matisse was on there so i was saying you're getting um cards that Box Nation, you know, uh, Frank Warren, you know, even though we're not getting the last of the World Boxing Super Series that's going to be on Cloud TV. We're not going to talk about that. The finals of the first season of the World Boxing Super Series. Um, the point I'm trying to make is 
For five dollars a month, I think it's worth it. So let's go back and do some more math. Where were we at? Let's go back and do some more math. Okay. So you got HBO, right? Which is fifteen dollars a month. Let's take this seventy five out because you're only paying for pay per view, you know, twice a year. Basically. So you got HBO, you got that Showtime Anytime app, which is about um twelve dollars a month. You have ESPN Plus, $5 a month. The Zone, $10 a month. And what else? Basically, that's it in the United States, right? HBO, Showtime, ESPN, The Zone. Damn it. $42 a month if you want to watch boxing. Now, for me, as a hardcore fan and as a media member, that's, that's not steep. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. That number just don't seem attractive, right? And then the fact that you got to think, how are they going to get like the casual, um, you know, like money? Because you're asking casual fans to do something else, like for exclusively boxing. Like you're asking casual fans, like say for example, if there's people that only want to see Anthony Joshua fights, they only want to see, um, you know, certain certain fights. You're asking them to pay every month. Or how does it work? Like whenever Anthony Joshua fight, can you cancel? But oh, I'll pay ten dollars again. You know, I don't, I don't. You know, we're gonna have to see because I'm trying to figure out like where in the United States, how can they build casual fans if they're not getting like channel surfing and 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 people saying, oh, boxing is on. Let me go watch this because I already have cable. You know, you're saying, oh, sign up for this and play it on your on your, on your PS4 or some shit. Now, streaming is the future. Don't get it. Don't, 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 don't confuse me. Don't be a fool, right? Streaming is the future. For example, look at Netflix and all that type of stuff. But is boxing on that level yet? You know? Why do you think UFC is not putting their full cards on Fight Pass yet? You know? It's, it's, it's a slippery slope, but only time will tell. And, and the fact that Eddie Hearn is... Re- is receiving resistance because these network heads don't want him coming in like Showtime and HBO, you know, and ESPN taking their fighters. So that's why Eddie Hearn is saying basically he wants to bring fighters over to the zone via purse bid. He'll get his fighters in a position to win a title, right? And then if they don't want to bring their, the fighters over to his platform, the platform he's working with, the zone, then he's going to force them to either vacate their title or, or come to his platform to fight. You know, it's kind of like a command and conquer type, you know, situation. So it asked Boston fans to pay for forty two dollars a month when originally, you know, you were getting fights on ESPN for free. The Eddie Heard International fights were being picked up over here on Showtime HBO. And basically at one point in time, all you had to have was Showtime and HBO. And of course, people now are looking like, well, PBC was on free TV. Now, look. The problem with with PBC from the beginning is that they put too much money in shit that didn't matter. Also, they wasn't trying to work with other promoters. Right now, it's looking like Eddie Hearn is doing the same thing in regards to trying to box out other promoters. But it's a competitive market right now because with ESPN, we thought like, wow, how is ESPN going to fill all the dates that they have? Top rank on ESPN has a lot of dates they have to fill, you know? And if you look at the top rank roster, how many fighters do they really, really have that can fill all of those dates that fans actually care about and are going to watch? Now, yes, it's 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 a growing, um, you know, venture It's something that they probably knew. Well, the first year, first two years are going to be rough. But we've learned that they've been trying to sign up fighters and Heyman, who's basically everybody's going after his fighters, have been keeping his fighters, you know, like with him in Showtime. So at the top of the hill is Showtime. They have all of the fighters that all of these other organizations want. They have the fighters that that these mad that these promoters are saying, listen, these guys need promoters. This is the reason why they're not household names. Golden Boy is saying this about Heyman fighters. Eddie Hearn has been saying this about Eddie Hearn um, um, about Heyman fighters. Top rank has been saying it. You know, they've all been trying to dig their hands in. But right now, Showtime, you know, they're they're holding on. And Eddie Hearn, it seems as though he's trying to force. You know, Showtime fighters into a position where, look, you could be making more money with me. We're, 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 we're drowning in it. We want to get you a bigger house. We want to get you well known. You know, we want to get you, you know, like on the big shows, shit like that. 
So, yeah, it's tough to sell boxing fans on, you know, you got to have a cable subscription. I mean, you got to have cable service, too, to be able to get HBO and, um, well, Showtime, you know, you can watch on your phone, your tablet and cast to your TV. But when it comes to, you know, like ESPN Plus and The Zone, people just want to be able to turn to their channel. That's what people are pissed off about is that hardcore boxing fans, you know, are thinking like, damn, you're asking me to do extra shit. You know, like, for example, um, I have Samsung TV. I haven't found the ESPN app yet. I'm not saying I know how to work all this. It's my job. Even though I have a Google Chromecast, I got to cast it or I got to get a Roku or something. I mean, a fire stick or some shit. But whatever. I'm rambling. I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live. I'm getting the zone. I'm, you know, it's, it's my job. I'm getting it for the team. You know, we're going to, it's the job. I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live. Please subscribe.